how to archive events to save on storage space in Final Cut Pro 10. It's no secret that Final Cut Pro 10 events can take up a lot of storage space on your Mac. Look right here, I am at 90% utilization on my MacBook. Now granted, the MacBook only has about 500 gigabytes of storage space available, so not entirely surprising there. So with that in mind, if you're editing on a MacBook, it's particularly important for you to be able to manage your media in a way that it doesn't take up your entire drive. And that's why archiving is so important, especially for events that have a lot of high quality media, like this Moto G4 review, for instance. We already posted this on 9to5Google. You can check it out here in the link in the upper right hand corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the Moto G event. I'm gonna go up to the menu bar, select file, and then select move event to library. And then I'm going to create a new library stored on an external drive. So what we need to do is just go over to where it says new library, select that, and then you're going to see the finder interface. You wanna select your external drive that you're archiving to, and then you wanna give your archival library a name. So where it says save as, where it says untitled, we're just gonna give it a name so that we can quickly identify this archive. I'm gonna call it July 2016 archive. And then just click save. Next, you're gonna be asked if you wanna include the optimized and proxy media along with the original media from the event. In this case, I do wanna include proxy media because as you saw in my previous video, I do use proxy media a lot while editing on the MacBook, the 2016 MacBook, because it's so underpowered. So I'm gonna check proxy media to include that. That way I get all of my proxy transcoded files along with that in the archive. So just click okay here. And just keep in mind that you don't have to include optimized in proxy media. As long as you have the original files, which we're archiving right now, then you can always recreate optimized in proxy media. And once you click OK, you'll notice the new archive library along with the event that you selected. Now keep in mind that this is not instant. It will take some time to move all those large files over to your external drive. And a lot's gonna depend on the speed of your drive, etc. You can open up the background task menu and you can see how long it's gonna take you to move those events to your new library. Now I have sped this up a lot. So it's gonna depend on how large your events are and how fast your external storage is. So keep that in mind. Okay, so the media management task is now completed. Let's check and see how much space we've saved. Oh, that's weird. Still at 90% utilization. Do you know why that is? Well, first you have to close out of Final Cut Pro 10 to relinquish the space. So let's close out of Final Cut Pro 10. And now let's check our space. Ah, there we go, 80% now. So we saved 10% of our total storage space just by moving that one event. Now, of course, you can move multiple events at the same time just by highlighting multiple events, going up to the file menu in the menu bar, and then selecting move events to library, and then selecting your library. Now, since we've already created the archive library, it should just be listed there. Of course, you can uh, point to a new one or however you wanna manage this. I'm gonna uncheck proxy media this time. I don't think I'm gonna be using these events anymore, but just in case I wanna archive them for at least a little bit. So I clicked okay there. Of course, it's gonna take a while to move all of those events over to the archive library. I have sped this up though on my end so that I can show you quickly. And you can see all of the events in the new library. So we'll just close out of Final Cut Pro 10 again. And then we should see a new level of utilization, hopefully much lower. Let's check. Ah, there we go. So now we're down to 69%. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you archive events in Final Cut Pro 10 to save on storage space. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.